they have not been taught. You need to see who is a con man. Con man, no? We expect that we should not expect that. You want people in the, from the base to give you money. Get. Go to for go to go to beat you. Spirit of criminal, thank you very much, sir. People of, instead of you taking bread for them, what is one be the man? The man apple. Uma danda some fun this one. Uma nigga jelly every bed, every bed, lean and chill. Every person assistant as a son. But the man because they are not used to it. Upa this is the sink one. Three, 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 three. Yes, we are like our JT. Every bed, every bed, soap, tissue, tissue, in tissue. Tissue, you mean just bed? Every bed, tissue, tissue, tissue. Utaba mfundi simba. Now you want to get from. Shame. I said shame for this. Shame. You are a beggar, you are an embarrassment to the kingdom of God. But you are a cousin, you are a good person. But you are a good person. I show my love for this. You are a good person. And there was a lie. This is why I tell my pastors here. We don't make money here, we bring money here. Yeah. We don't make money, we don't, this is not a business. You don't have such a business. We don't have such a business. No, it's not. Yeah. If you are starting, you will have to start in the world. You are stuck in the world, you want to make it in the kingdom of God, you are not lying. I'm going to full time ministry. Full time ministry. There is nothing like full time ministry. It's over. Apostle Paul was making tents. What am I telling you? People who came to buy tents, he preached to them. No, I'm going to be telling you. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I want the church of Jesus to be taught. That a talent is not for the pulpit. A talent is not for the pulpit. Even if you sing like an angel, but you are not born again, because you will start entertaining us here. This is not a place of entertainment. This place is called a pulpit. Without a pulpit. What it means is pulling people from the pit. We do not take people to the pit. We pull them from the pit. That's why this place must be taken serious when they come. It's not a playground. Go this way. Come this way. Oh, hallelujah. Which God is that? It's not a God of entertainment. You cannot play with the Holy Spirit. He is God and he must be God. Amen. Read with me James chapter 1, verse 17. James 1, chapter 3. I will be teaching and I will love us to participate. If you have a question, stop me and ask. James chapter 1 verse 17. Don't get it for the things that 
Hallelujah. Every good and perfect gift. Every good and what? Perfect gift. There are some gifts that are good, but they are not but every good and perfect gift comes from Every good and perfect gift comes from the Father. God, the Father, gives us gifts. The gifts that come from God the Father are called creative gifts. Creative gifts. Anyone that is created, he comes with this gift. I want us to understand. I'm talking about natural gifts. Anyone who is born on earth, he comes with this gift. Have you ever heard of a drunkard in the bus sitting like a, the press leader? Yeah. <laughs> If that voice was on my pulpit, I can't hear about that. But the devil has taken over. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've never heard of Rihanna, but I'm told she sings very well. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm talking to you now. You understand here? Yeah. Tupac Machiavelli, man. You understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> Created by God. Give him the gift. It's a natural gift. She can sing. She has made money. Natural gifts. School so we discover where we are able to differentiate in natural gift and the spiritual gift. This spiritual gift. The Bible says in Psalms 139, verse 13 to 16, for you are formed in inward parts, you covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. My flame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest part of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed and your, your book they all were written. The days fashioned for me when as yet there were none of them. God knew you before you were formed. You are not an, an accident. Before you were formed in your mother's womb, God saw you. He prepared you. He gave you the gift to come and work with here on earth. Let me tell you. God gave you the gift so that your gift can support the kingdom of God. Are you following me? Amen. The reason why God gave you that special gift is not yours. Yeah, give me a gift. It has to benefit from it. I hear you when you cry. Yes. 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 Yes.
How serious are you with this God? Yeah. Yeah. How are you promoting his kingdom? Yeah. How is your gifting working for the kingdom of God? Yes, it was a we are not supposed to be poor churches. No. If our church members, they know how to use their talents. All of us here are employers. We are not to be employees forever. But let God enable us to employ others. Before you were formed in your mother's womb, he knew you. He prepared you. Your coming on earth is not an accident. What are spiritual gifts? Spiritual gifts are not natural gifts. Spiritual gifts are to be used in the church to edify the body of Christ. This one we must read Romans chapter 12. Verse 6 to 8. If you get it, read for me, praise. Having the gift, what? Differing. Our gifts are what? Differing. They are not the same. Do you know why we have so much competition in the church? Do you know why? We have to say this is that. No, Spiso, Spiso, I can't make a case. No, 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 it is in the world where they compare such. Do you know that my host voice can bring God down? Yeah. God is not a respecter. He, he knows what is in the content of my host voice. When I worship God with from my heart, whether you dance or not, it doesn't matter. The one who is in heaven receives it. This does not mean we should just break. No, 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 no. I know what I'm talking about. Your voice is so special. That's why it is different from anybody else. We cannot all have the same voice. No. Even that music can never be nice. But when it comes down. And then say, Hang on, oh my God. Yeah. 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 Now, Shalala, may I book at one and by the Tasabella China? Oh, we are getting back. You don't know your role in building that voice. I want to see in the Maya Kepakini. You don't know that God has given you something different from Him. When we start to appreciate what God has given us for his glory, you will see how the church of Jesus Christ will be built. Our gifts are different. We are not running the same race. We are not getting the same prices. We are different in the way we are to serve God. That's why some people are short, others are tall, others are taller. So that we can magnify the Lord. Your gift can never be exactly the gift that I have. No matter how much you try to be me, you will never be me. And listen, you don't need another me. 
There are people who are called to the ministry of, of, of hospitality and And they are not doing that well. And the church of Jesus Christ is suffering. Some of you are called to the ministry, to the ministry of singing. And you are sitting down. And the church is robbed. We are gifted according to the grace of God. The grace upon my life is not the grace upon you. The way I serve God is not the way you can serve Him. Amen. 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 If it's prophesying, let us prophesy. Now, this I'm talking about. Accord charismatic gifts. Let it let it Charismatic uh, gifts that came on the day of Pentecost. They are gifts they are of the Holy Spirit. They are gifts that came on the day of Pentecost. We have three types of gifts. Number one gift is a creative gift. Number two gift is a charismatic gift. Number three gift is uh, ascension gifts. How can we provide? Okay? Yes. God gave you when you were born. Remember? When the Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost, they received this gift. When Jesus Christ was going to heaven, he gave gifts. So we have three types of gifts. Coming from God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Because we need to understand the spiritual gifts. We need to understand the natural gifts. Because the Holy We have demons that come to pray here and we shout hallelujah. Demon tenders. Demon tenders. 
and you clap in your hands and say hallelujah. Because your eyes can never descend. So the Bible says, if it's prophesied, let us prophesy according to our proportion. If it's ministry, let us do ministry according to the grace. If it's teaching, let us teach according to the grace. If it is exhortation, let us exhort according to the grace. If it is giving, if it is giving, let us give according to the grace. If it's leading, leadership, let us lead according to the grace. And those who show mercy according to the grace. These are gifts. That the Holy Spirit gives to the church. Amen. If you know you are born again, there is a gift upon your life for ministry. Amen. If you know you are born again, there is a special gift that God has given you for His ministry. Let me end just by explaining As what prophecy is. What he is. Not everyone who prophesies is a prophet. Not everyone who preaches is a pastor. Not everyone who teaches is a teacher. We prophesy. All of us. Under the move of the Holy Spirit. All of us here are prophets. Somebody shout hallelujah. All of us here are teachers. All of us are preachers. We have been given the ministry of reconciliation. We are for we are evangelists. According to the proportion that the Holy Spirit has given you. Amen. Amen. There is this word the proportion. Amen. To which level can you do that? Amen. There is a grace upon your life to do that. Let me run to Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. I just want to clarify that point and then we'll be gone. Because we have heard everyone in the church now is a prophet. You are a prophet under the charismatic gifts. You are a teacher under the charismatic gifts. Amen. If God was to speak to us today, to speak to us. That does not mean Mike Kumar today has become a prophet. No. God wanted to speak to us and nobody was there was no prophet available. So he used one from among us to, to communicate the message. That one doesn't become a prophet of the church. That person prophesied under the move of the Holy Spirit. I want you to I want to show you the prophets where they are. Ephesians 4 11. When that journey? When Jesus was on earth, these five people were in him. He was a prophet. He was an evangelist. He was a teacher. This finger stands for a teacher. This finger stands for a pastor. This is why all of us who are married, we put a ring here. 
The reason we put on this finger is not because there is a vessel that goes to the heart. No, something deeper that we Whichever president you can mention, I fakala. Unaba mufundi sube mbishop ama bishop pusha tira we fakala iba ni magaso ya. The reason is this finger is a finger of the pastor. Lena ingalo yemelusi. See the finger of the the pastor. Yemelusi ke ngalo ke. You are not a pastor if you don't have one sheep. I'll see you Going to the Bible college and to come with a certificate of theology does not make you a pastor. What makes you a pastor is having a God that you take in the bush. That's what makes you a pastor. So when I put on this, I am telling the world that I have a sheep that I take care of. Amen. <laughs> Even if you are not married, but you are a pastor, you have a church. You have a right. Right. You, you are married to your church. You are a pastor. So you see the Catholic priests. They have special rings. They are pastors. This finger is an evangelist. And this one is a prophet. This one is an apostle. Now let me just teach you something. If I want to fight, I will need this three, this four, and this one to come on top. Am I right? Then this will become strong for me to fight. But if I have to fight with this one alone, can I make it? Can I fight with this one alone? Now I want you to see that how we need each other. How a teacher is very important in this church. How a pastor is very important in this church. How an evangelist is very important in this church. I want you to see that the prophet is very important to us. So is the apostle. Now the problem has become in the church. Where the apostle is pastoring a church. The prophet is pastoring the church. Evangelist has got his own church. The teacher is having a church. Where is this nonsense coming from? This nonsense is coming from the belly. We all want to eat. This nonsense is coming from my wife goes to the same shop where the CEO of the wife goes. When my wife goes to shop right, the same price tag for the wife of the manager of Nedbank is the same price my wife will buy from. To only change the no, in the price of the full design, it's the same price. Yes. And that's where the problem has started. Everybody wants to eat. And that's the confusion we have in the church. None of this is expected to pastor a church except the pastor. All these are supposed to sit under a pastor. These four are not ministry to the local church. These are ministries to the body of Christ. These are supposed to go and discipline churches that are disobeyed. This is why we have pastors who are sleeping with church members and there is nobody to caution them. 
Every pastor is the CEO of his church. He's Alpha and Omega. God is going to beat us, you will see. In the Old Testament, there was no prophet who was staying with people. Prophet stayed in the bush. When the prophet Elijah is coming to the city of Israel, everybody is shivering. Prophets were feared. You know the reason? They brought a message of God. The prophets of today. You know the reason? They tell us what we want to hear. Uh, I see you, I see you, hallelujah. Yeah. Which prophecy is that? You see my underwear, and you say, God, give Papa, to where? <laughs> I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Your cell phone number is it? What nonsense is that? Is that prophecy? I'm a prophet. I'm the hey, Papa, it's baby, Papa. Hey, you foolish. Stop making noise. Yeah. I see your, your bank account. I see. What, what nonsense is that in the body of Christ? That's not prophecy. You know what prophecy is? Prophecy is foretelling. Oh. Affirming what the Lord is about to do as prophecy. When I tell you your cell phone number, it's a weight of knowledge. It's a weight of revelation for you. And I don't need to tell you your cell phone number, you already know it. Amen. The reason we are telling you your cell phone numbers is you to believe in me. Yeah. I am telling you so that I win credibility. Yeah. So the Bible says, get approved by God. Amen. Please don't miss next Sunday. I invite you. I want you to be an intelligent child of God. I want you to know what is expected in the body of Christ. I know very few pastors will love me today. Prophets won't invite me to their churches because I will tell them, you are not supposed to pastor a church, sir. Oh, they have love. But this man is a man of love. They have a love, love to some extent, but not the love of a pastor. Can never be compared to the love of a pastor. How many of you have ever seen a, 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 a shepherd coming from the bush? I've seen one. Oh, no one has seen a shepherd. Men who see Bamba, we are Asian, they think of. Have you seen one? Have seen one? How do they look like? How do they smell like? Uh -huh. This is what I'm talking about. How many pastors are smelling like they are church members? How many pastors even know where these church members come from? How many pastors know what these members are eating? Pastor is not standing here to teach, no. It's a life with your church members. When I say that house is your house, come home anytime. It's because I know you are my sheep. You don't need to make an appointment to see me. No. As soon as you know I'm your father, the house is open. Unless you are not sure, you still have a father somewhere. Jesus said, I know my sheep. I am a good shepherd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. How to be a good shepherd when you don't know your sheep? Mm -hmm. Number two, number two, number two, number two, number two, number two, number 
Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Amen. Let's end here for today because of time. Next week we'll be looking at baptism in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives gifts.